Choose the coloured horn shell which best fits your application to start. Red is for fire, green is for access control. You are going to choose from a multilingual label sheet with 13 different languages. Left are your fire messages and right are for access control. You will take the label that you would like, put it on your chosen shell using the other label as your guide. Open your Eurostopper. Using this ridge as your guide, position the shell into place with a simple push and click. If you have chosen the sounder version, you'll start by removing the battery cap. Insert your 3 volt lithium battery. Replace your cap and secure with the screw. Ensure that the service pin remains in the sounder cartridge until installation is complete and then retain for future use of core point maintenance. Once you've inserted your 3 volt lithium battery, you'll take your sounder cartridge, inserting it into your horn shell by the mounting posts. Secure that into place with your supplied screws. If you have decided you would like to use the brake seal before mounting, there are indents on the side you will drill using a 2.2mm drill bit. You can do this on either side or both. Position your Euro stopper over your manual call point using the guidelines on your frame as an indicator of where to place it so the sounder does not impede the function. Using the holes in the frame as a guide, mark the position for the four mounting screws. Once you have your mounting holes drilled, using the raw plugs provided, if your surface requires so, place the frame into position and using the four large screws supplied, secure your Euro stopper to the wall. If you have chosen the sounder version, you will need to open, remove your service pin and release quickly. It is advised to do a quick open and close to test your unit. If you have opted for the brake seal, insert into the previously drilled holes and push into the locking head. Now you have successfully installed your flush mount Euro stopper.